Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus. This is the 12th installment of the tutorial series Base in a Book. We are creating books, we, that's me, is creating books, books uh, that's blueprints, so that uh, the creation of a base will become easier. And it's uh, if you want some perfect ratios, some nice designs, then look no further. Just uh, hop onto Factory Prints and download the blueprints that I have or and also watch these videos so you get more of a context than just of slapping down a blueprint and not really knowing why or what or what's going on. Anyway, today is one of those uh, big cornerstones in any base, the red circuits. That's something we need to build. And I've actually prepared two different blueprints depending on sort of the desires of and also what sequence of tech that uh, you would go on I go. So the first one, very simple. I'm building it very modular. Well, let's before jumping into it, let's have a look at the blue circuit, the red circuit. So they take six seconds. That's quite a while, actually. It's longer than you'd anticipate. So it actually, it, it built a lot of, 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 uh, of assemblers and then still nothing comes out. So remember that six seconds is actually quite a long time. It takes two electric circuits, electronic circuit, two plastic bars, the plastic bars. This is the reason why you've gone to go get some oil into the base. These two plastic bars, that's it. And then copper cables. It's a bit interesting because copper cables, this could just as well be two copper, but it's actually two copper cables. So that's a bit of a challenge. Now let's uh, throw down the, the blueprint and let's uh, work on, so I can show what's the way I've designed it. I have designed this as a module and you can build as many as you like. That's why the ends are going all the way up so that it tiles perfectly with the next module module like this. This module here is, let's start by hooking up to some power from some random direction. There, now it has power. This is, has six of these. So this one produces, oh, uh, there we go, six. Six, it produces one per second. Of course, counted for the fact that this is, these are speed 0.5, but normalized, we're talking about this is one per second. And that's kind of crazy because this is actually taking up quite a bit of space and still only generating one per second. So in order for me to uh, to build it, I am doing this thing that I I really like doing by use, by splitting a belt into two things, both using as as uh, as raw materials and as product. The way it's done is I will use. Look how convenient it is that it works like that. This one will take it, and these two are just throwing things out. It has to be two blue inserters in order to keep up. You can see they're actually alternating and they're going up here. This will feed exactly, exactly as much as needed by this, but you can also see it doesn't really make a dent in the amount of copper. So this one, when it's going full tilt, it'll only, it'll produce four copper per, per second. Now we're talking normalized, of course. Um, and it'll only require two copper. So one half of a red belt will actually be able to support one half a red belt is the same as a yellow belt. It transports 13.3 repeating uh, items per second, which means that you can actually build 12 of these units and still not run out of the one sided uh, one sided belt here. So keep that in mind. You can build a lot of these modules. Let's do the same on the other side. And in the mean, in the middle, that's actually the stuff that we need the most of. Whoops, here it is. We need twice as much copper cable as we need plastic and electronic circuits. So that I have decided to combine into a single belt because that's actually, if I use half a belt here and half a belt here, well, it's gonna add up, right? I mean, of course it still take a lot in the beginning, but look how fast it just jams. There, done. This belt is now full. This is also exactly the time so that you can build six modules and then it works. I'll just repeat the next module because what happens here is that so that we can see the effect of it. There we are. You can see that some of these will carry over and they'll just start eating those. And again, you can see there with this part here, this very long list is actually only consuming a third of this belt. So, if I had room for it, I would probably build one more section and then build another one next to it because that would be, 
And you know what? I'll just, uh, for the hell of it, we'll build a little box here. Because we need to make sure that it draws from it. Yum, 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 yum. And actually that draws on the one side. That's not practical. Anyway, that is that is what it is. No, it isn't. I, I don't like that. Sorry, those are the kind of like my pet peeves there. Some of these things. Ah, no, just picks from the other one. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, that's uh, the point of this one is that it's oh, not a point, but one of the characteristics is that it's using red inserters. That's not really a problem because none of this is constrained. But it just uh, struck me that there is actually a more compressed one that's one tile uh, slimmer. And that's let's have a look at what this looks like. This uses belt weaving, so I'll also include it just for the fact that we can take a look at the belt weaving. The belt weaving is actually, let me explain that. The belt weaving means that it's possible to have two different colored belts jumping over and under each other. And that means on the blue belt here, the reason why I make this optional is because not everyone will have blue belts at this point. It is not sure that we have blue belts. Now I'll do this better. You can see the blue belt here compresses and that's where it picks it up from the blue belt and then it inserts on the red belt. It's going to be the same concept on the side here. But for me at least, I do not use blue belts at the time I have red circuits. But some may uh, prioritize blue belts. I know that a lot of people have a blue fetish. I maybe have more of a, a red fetish and build everything in red belts. So. This one is slightly slimmer. It also uses belt weaving, but at the end of the day, it's no more throughput. It is not 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 smaller uh, footprint. It is also possible to slightly decrease the footprint by taking these two closer and then moving the power poles out here on the side. But it actually takes more power poles to do it that way. Although alternatively, we can also use substations, but I don't really feel that substations are a good thing to build because they actually use the red, red circuits for this. So there we have it. This is now producing and you can see how little is actually throwing even with such a massive thing here. It's still only one, two per second. So not much actually, two per second. Pathetic. So another one here. So all of this together is only three per second. And again, this one is also available. Hope I have enough of the blue belts. Yes, I do. Great. And I do not have enough inserters though, but that's kind of a trivial thing. Yeah, just wanted to see. So now at this point with what we have built here, we are still only producing four red circuits per second. And that's uh, not enough when you start building modules MK2 and MK3. So keep it in mind that you need a lot of space when you're laying out this one because it takes so long time. It doesn't compare this to green belts in the same way. Oh, green circuits. Green circuits takes a lot of materials, but not a lot of space. This takes a lot of a lot of space to build. So there you have it. That's why I made it as modules. Anyway, I think there's not much more to it. So let's wrap it up. I hope you appreciate it. If you did, leave a like and a comment below. And if you like more of this content, be sure to subscribe. And Blueprints are of course available on Victoria Prints as always. Thank you very much for joining and I'll see you another time.